What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Dossier Den, the video where we talk about a new creature coming to Ark Survival Ascended for their new dossier has been released. In today's episode, we will be talking about the center exclusive creature, and that is the Shastasaurus. Now this thing is basically a, a giant ichthyosaur slash whale thing. It looks pretty massive by the way it looks on the dossier. So I can't wait to read all about it. But before we get into it, if you guys enjoy this video and want more content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But without further ado, let's get into the dossier. So the common name for this guy is Shastasaurus. Species is Shastasaurus carmentellum. The time is late Triassic, diet carnivore, and temperament curious. So in the wild, this odd variant of Shastasaurus seems as curious about humans as its distant relative, the Ichthyosaur. It sure got my attention when one of these sea monsters swam up to have a look at me. Luckily, its bulk turns out to be worse than its bite. Shastasaurus has weaponized the ultrasonic chirps it uses for echolocation. It can focus those sounds into a tight cone that disorients prey or widen the effect to blast apart a school of fish in a concussive wave. So they're treating this thing less like an ichthyosaur and more like a giant whale. Hell, even the design makes it look like a whale. Whales are actually beautiful creatures in my opinion. I actually went whale watching about a week and a half ago. They're just awesome creatures. Domesticated. Taming a Shastasaurus was one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. I brought along some ichthyosaur pals to entertain their larger cousin while I scraped some of its itchy barnacles off with a sickle. From then on, I had a gigantic escort in deep water. So basically, the way you tame this thing is that you basically have to help it clean itself from the barnacles everywhere, and you can use the ichthyosaurs to basically distract the Shastasaurus while you get to work on the barnacles. That's pretty cool in my opinion, a cool way of taming it. I know I've said I was fed up with the special ways of taming it, but some of them are actually pretty easy, like the Androsarchus is pretty easy, so are the Feared Hawks and the... Uh, Desmodus, like the, the Fjordr creatures are pretty easy, and some are extremely difficult, like the Lost Island creatures, but I'm getting off topic. This is about the Shastasaurus, but I think this is a really cool way of taming this thing. Some tribes manage to kit out their finny friend with a periscope, torpedo bays, and even a cargo hold. Those Shastasaurs end up looking like something from the old kids cartoon with cavemen who turned dinosaurs into cars and submarines. Are they talking about, oh my god, what's it called? The Dino Rider? You know that series of toys that were around back in the day, like in the 90s and whatnot? I mean, I wasn't around for that, but I do remember them. Those were some cool toys. Why did they not go anywhere with those? Those were awesome. So it looks like they are going to use the Shastasaurus as some type of submarine. I wonder if the saddle works underwater where you can actually breathe down there as long as you're in the submarine. My honest opinion on whether or not this guy makes sense on the center map? It does. It makes the most sense. Because most of the center map is ocean anyway. So I'm glad they're adding in another ocean creature for the center map which I, I actually can't wait to tame one of these things because this thing looks pretty awesome. But yeah, what are your thoughts on the Shastasaurus? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.